Thank you for inviting me to speak about aspects of genome science in relation to sustainable development. Large scale, globally collaborative projects have been a core feature of genome science since the sequencing of the 3,000 million letters of DNA code in the human genome in year 2000. First, initiatives in several countries are sequencing the genomes of hundreds of thousands to millions of people, collecting health information, lifestyle information, and various biological measurements from the same individuals. Second, there will be genome sequencing of cancers and normal tissues from around the world for mutations which are not inherited, but arise during our lifetimes. And these studies in order to understand the hidden environmental or lifestyle exposures accounting for the geographically widely differing rates of many cancer types. Third, a large scale project will transform understanding of the building blocks of human beings, cells. Our bodies are constructed from trillions of cells, each of which serves a particular function, for example, fat cells or muscle cells or nerve cells. Today, cells can be separated from each other and individually sequenced to work out which of the 20,000 genes in the human genome are being used in each one. In this way, a new and more refined human cell atlas will be constructed, discovering all normal cell types and those present in the range of human diseases. Fourth, there will be international initiatives in sequencing the genomes of infectious disease causing microorganisms. During the coronavirus pandemic, more than 10 million COVID-19 viruses were sequenced, making it by far the most extensively sequenced organism on earth. Many other infectious diseases continue to evolve and spread. Malaria causes the death of 500,000 children every year, and sequencing large numbers of malaria parasites and the mosquitoes transmitting them will provide public health agencies with early warning of emerging drug resistance, thus enabling changes in treatment strategies. These initiatives will also improve our preparedness for the next pandemic. And fifth, the world is now embarking on sequencing all species. There are about 2 million known, ranging from single cell organisms that are invisible to us to the grand and familiar, such as elephants and oak trees. Homo sapiens has become custodian of life on Earth. Sequencing the genomes of all species will allow us to catalog and make inventory of life on Earth. It will enable monitoring of individual species and whole ecosystems changing over time, notably in the face of climate change, which we can harness to make Earth a more sustainable, supportive and healthier place. For all these initiatives to achieve optimal impact, we will need to responsibly share the data generated for the whole world to use. Thank you for your attention.